In this short video, I'll demonstrate how to take a non-object-oriented program and convert it into an object-oriented one in order to make it more maintainable and to make it easier to write automated unit tests. Sentence Analyzer is a program written entirely in a main method. This is a non-object-oriented solution. The sentence analyzer will read in a sentence from the user and analyze it to compute uh, some elementary statistics. Let's run it and see how it operates. So we type in a sentence. and the program returns some statistics about the number of digits, letters, spaces, and it echoes the sentence without any blanks in it. It continues to do this until you hit end of file. So this program is fine just as it is. However, in the real world, programs tend to get bigger as Customers want more features added uh, as they get combined with uh, other applications and as they get ported to other platforms. So in its current form, it will quickly become unmanageable. So what we want to do is to decompose it into several pieces and we'll have uh, each of those pieces will be able to write automated unit tests for. So looking at the, what the program does and then thinking about how we would decompose it, we see that the heart of the algorithm is this loop which iterates over all the letters in the sentence and determines uh, what kind of uh, letter it is and increments a counter. So we'll encapsulate uh, this in a sentence uh, class. Then the input and output from the user, uh, we'll put in another class. And then the main method will do uh, nothing but uh, invoke the other classes. So the sentence class now encapsulates a string, which is the sentence. And the analysis is performed in an analyze method. And we have accessors, which will give us uh, an ability to retrieve the numbers that were computed by the analysis. And a method which will remove all the spaces from the sentence. This class can now be uh, unit tested all by itself. So we can write a unit test for it. Uh, in order to make sure that th this class is working correctly before we combine it with other units into a finished application. This is very handy to make sure that the fundamental building blocks of your application are correct before you try to integrate them. So we can run the unit tests on this class all by itself. The console UI class uh, gets the input and output. We've structured the console UI class so that the constructor takes a reader and a writer. So the uh, console doesn't really even need to know if the input data is coming from the keyboard or coming from a file or anywhere else. Similarly, the writer doesn't know whether it's actually writing to the console or to some other device. So when we uh, in the constructor, we'll create a new scanner from whatever reader we're passed, and we'll create a print writer from whatever writer we're passed. The run method then loops over uh, all the console input uh, as long as there's a line available. And for each line that it reads, it will construct a sentence and then analyze that sentence and call the accessor methods to get the uh, results of the analysis and display them. Since we've taken advantage of passing a reader and a writer, that makes this piece, uh, the console UI, uh, more e easily testable. 
we can write a UI test by creating a string that has the input data we want and then creating a string reader from that to pass to the constructor. And similarly, we'll create a string writer to capture the output. So when we, we invoke the run method, which will then read from the string and write to the string writer. When the run method completes, we'll take the string writer and convert that to a string, and we can assert that the result is uh, as we expect. So now the, our, all the interaction with the user can be simulated in a unit test, and it doesn't require uh, actually typing, uh, the t human tester doesn't have to actually type input uh, at the console. So this is very handy, because as you know, if you've ever spent any time debugging a console application, uh, starting the application, typing the input manually at the console, uh, visually inspecting the output to see if it's correct, uh, you only need to do this four, four or five times before you get very tired of uh, typing input. So being able to create an automated test that can provide the input for you is a great time saver. And that's what console UI test does. Then the main method for the application uh, allows for input from the command line to specify a file uh, for the input and optionally a file for the output. So this is another uh, tool that can allow you to create multiple test cases and store them in different data files and then uh, choose a test case to be run at runtime by providing it on the command line. So when the finished program uh, is executed, it works just like the original program. Um, but now all the components have been individually unit tested uh, and the application is more easily enhanced because uh, it's in little pieces that uh, make uh, adding new functionality easier. In addition, if we decide to port this application to a different platform, uh, we don't need to change the sentence class, we only need to change the console class. So the, uh, it makes the sentence class more reusable because it's not uh, intertwined with the actual user input and output. So in summary, we've taken a non-object-oriented program that consisted of a single main program and decomposed it into three parts. The main program, the user interaction class, and the data model sentence. And we've written automated unit tests for each of these pieces. Thanks for watching this short video.